All right, continue with our discussion of functions. Um, we'll say a little bit more about notation. Okay? So a, a lot of people, I think, will get tripped up a little bit on the notation, um, sometimes get mixed up on necessarily what, what are you actually meaning when you write down something. So let's say you write down something like f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, right? You write that down, what, is, what does that actually mean? What are you, what are you telling me when you write down a, an expression like this? Uh, well, again, you haven't quite necessarily told me everything there is to tell me about this function because you haven't said anything about domain or codomain. You've just written down a formula, right? Um, but this, this x that's in brackets here, right, this is, this is your variable, right? So this is your, it's your input. Or we might think of this as a, as a variable. Um, if you've done any, let's say, computer programming or something like this, um, you might have encountered this sort of scenario, right, where you have various functions that are defined in your, in your program and they take some input, right? And probably you even put that input in parentheses like this. And you run the function, right? You run the program, and something happens to it. So that's exactly what you're doing here, right? You're, you're thinking of, well, you're, you're going to take a program, you're going to feed it some input, it's going to do something to that input, it's going to give you an output. That's, that's what's going on when you're working with the function, okay? Um, so if we wanted to be more precise, we could say something like, you know, we could say, well, f, it's a function from, well, in this case, maybe we want to say that it's defined for any real number, right? It goes from r to r, right? And if we want to talk about this relationship between inputs and outputs, we could say something, you know, like, we could say that a, you know, we might write something like this, a goes to b, we might say b is equal to f of a, um, we might even write down our formula and say, well, what is f of a? Well, f of a is, and again, the fact that I'm using a different letter doesn't matter. It's 3a squared minus 2a plus 1, right? Um, there's nothing special about x. You can use whatever letter you feel like using, right? You want to use a, use a. You want to use x, use x. Um, just make sure it's clear from the context what you're talking about. And of course, just like in a computer program, you can take that variable, you can substitute it for a value, see what happens. So we might say something like, well, what, what do I get if I do f of 2? Okay. Well, f of 2, we're just going to replace, right? You look at the formula, you say, okay, well, on this side, right, in this expression, I've taken a, I've replaced it by 2. So what I do is I look for everywhere I see an a, and I replace it by 2. 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 1. And if you're so inclined, you can do that calculation. Get an answer. In this case, it happens to be 9. Right? And it doesn't matter what number you choose. Let's say I want to do f of minus 1. I can do that as well. Right? 3 times minus 1 squared subtract 2 times minus 1, plus 1, okay? Um, notice I'm using parentheses around my input into the function. This is good practice, especially once you get into negatives, because you don't want to miss something like the square of a negative, right? You don't want to make sign errors because you're being careless. Um, so minus 1, if I square that, I get plus 1. So this is positive 3, right? Minus 2 times minus 1, again, right? Double negative becomes positive, so 3 plus 2, plus 1. I get an outcome of 6. Okay, that's all well and good. Um, what about, what if I asked you for something like um, f of y? All right, this really throws people off, right? Because we're so used to writing y as equal to f of x when you talk about graphs, right? When you want to graph a function, and we'll talk about graphs in some later videos, is set y equal to f of x, where x and y are the coordinates in your Cartesian plane, 
and, and you plot your function. But here, y is just some other variable name. So what's f of y? f of y. I haven't told you anything about y. So all I can really tell you right now is that f of y is 3y squared minus 2y plus 1. Right? That's all you can do. And that's, that's the correct answer. If I now went ahead and told you something about y, if I said, oh, by the way, y is equal to f of x, or y is equal to x plus 3, or something like that, right? If I told you that y had some particular value, well then, and again, this is the whole point of function notation, you can plug that value in. But if you do it on one side, you must do it on the other side. So if I told you, for example, that y was equal to, say, something like x plus h, I could say, well, what is? What is f of x plus h? That's something you'll be calculating quite a bit. Um, and, and this is something where a lot of people will get messed up, right, when these do the plus h, x plus h. Um, some of them are going to want to do f of x plus f of h. Um, some people are going to just take f of x and put a plus h on the end. Um, none of these are going to work out correctly because what function notation is telling you to do is it's telling you to take your input, right? And, you, and this tells you what should happen to the input. You should square the input, multiply by 3. Then you should take the input, multiply by minus 2. And then you should add those two together, add one more, and you get the result. So when you say f of x plus h, what you mean is 3 times x plus h whole thing squared, minus 2 times x plus h. Again, leave it in parentheses, plus 1. Okay? And from there you can, if you're so, uh, if you're so inclined, you can expand, right? Um, we know how to do FOIL. In fact, we might even remember the, the formula for the square of a binomial from a previous video. Write that out. We can put the constants through the brackets. 3x squared, 6xh, 3h squared, minus 2x minus 2h, plus 1. Right? Expand it out. There's not much more you can do with that. Um, you could try to group things together or something, but yeah, pretty much you leave it at that. Um, so the key is to remember that when you're, when you're working with functions, when you have expressions like this, right, this kind of notation that's common in calculus, right, remember that this is an instruction. Think of it as running a program. It's telling you what to do with an input, right? So whatever the input happens to be, you need to take your variable, as it appears in the expression, replace it everywhere by that input, simplify if necessary, to figure out what your output is going to be.